So Stuart Pink, I'm backstage at Stand and Cooling uh, with Flamingods. Hey guys, how's it going? Not yes, yes. Yes, yes. yes, yes. So very quick round the tent. Uh, who we got here? Kamal. Got Charles. KP. Got Sam. And you are Flamingods. We are indeed. Great set, loved it today. Uh, what inspired your, your name, Flamingods? Uh, our love of the animal flamingo mixed with our love for mythical culture. There's lots of flamingos out there today, did you saw There is, and there's also a lot where we grew up in Bahrain, so... Oh, there, there we, we go. go. We, we sometimes get flamingo dancers on stage with us, they dress up as flamingos, and they're, yeah, they're amazing. <laughs> I saw a guy walking around with a flamingo outfit today. Oh, no way. He's with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's one of yours. <laughs> I thought so. We, we got undercover, undercover flamingos walking around. <laughs> Uh, so you guys are for all from Bahrain? Uh, three of us. Me, Charles and Sam grew up there. Charles had friends in high school. KP lived all over the world, but we met him in London and have uh, formed the group. Yeah. We're all in London now, finally, yeah. Finally. Awesome. Uh, so you guys, I saw, have done a lot of festivals. You did Latitude last weekend. Sadly, I missed you. Uh, I would have caught you there, but we caught you today, so that's all good. Yes. Uh, Glasto as well. Yes. As, uh, as festival veterans, what's the most festival thing you've seen out and about? The festival defining moment? The most festival <laughs> defining thing. moment? I don't even know what that is. That I mean, I loved, I loved in when we, we played Strasbourg a couple of weeks ago, and there were people crowd surfing during our quietest moment in the set and it was just badass yeah so the chilled. people yeah it was so chilled and everyone was like, like going, going mental. Yeah. trying to keep it chilled and people yeah. are just yeah. partying too hard yeah. Yeah. fusion festival as well in germany it's like mad max over there they're just all just on another planet yeah just loads of trucks loads of like i don't know just people just looking quite punky and shit. Oh, and at festival, good. yeah, when that girl got naked and stage dived, so it took a show off anyway. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. It's been a lot of festival pretty, pretty moments. Festival -like. yeah. yeah, a lot of good festival classic moments. Classic moments. Yeah. That sounds like a classic, yeah. yeah. People yeah. throwing the clothes off, you know you're doing all right. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, there's so many uh, musical elements and instruments in your songs. How do you go about songwriting? Do you do you just sort of jam with the instruments you got, or do you sort of go for the classical instruments first and go from there and expand? It's just all about melody, so we'll all just kind of get together, play drum beat, play rhythm, play melody, and just kind of form the songs by jamming them endlessly till we find something appealing and successful. Something that works. <laughs> exactly, exactly, yeah. Well, for this album in particular, it was just a lot of kind of 12-hour jams, just kind of on and on and on, and just trying out different ideas and trying to keep it fresh for ourselves. I read this was the first time when you've written an album together that you've all been in the same continent. Oh, wow. Previously, how the, how did you do that? Write an album and not live in the same place? It's literally just writing it from just across the globe. Like me and Kamal lived in Dubai for about two years, or a little bit longer, and then we were just sending like files over the internet to these guys. And it's like a different way of writing. It's kind of like a collage sort of way of doing it. It's a little bit harder to get your point across, but yeah. We were, like, we were kind of like pen pals. Yeah. You know how like in the old days people used to fall in love with their pen pals? We kind of like just wrote each other letters, love letters, and send each other files. Sorry, so you got a new album coming out called Levitation? It's yeah. out, baby. It's out. It's out. It's out. It's out. It's out there in the world. And you can enjoy it. What can you tell us about the album? We were really inspired by disco and funk on this one. So a lot of the rhythm sections on the tracks are quite inspired by all the disco and funk coming out of the Middle East and Southeast Asia in the 60s and 70s. So that was a big underlining difference and we were just kind of taking bits of different genres that we really enjoyed and trying to make it our own and I think that that comes together as much as we'd like on this record. When you listen to your music it's almost as if you kind of challenge yourselves to add extra extra genres and another influence and a new instrument. Is that something you try and do? We're maximalists. We love more and more. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. We love <laughs> whatever else we can add. We'll, we'll try. Like Even if it doesn't work, we're willing to like buy an instrument and just to see if it will work within our sound. And sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. But you know, <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> we're just big children, you know. We like the wonderment of experimenting with different bits and trying to explore territory that might not have been explored as much as others. It's refreshing to see, it's what we like, it's why we love you.
when you write songs, obviously we enjoyed your last track, which seemed to last about 15 minutes. Do you ever feel like this song should never end? It's so good. Like it must take you ages to reach a point where you think, okay, that's it, now it's done. Well, that one started off being seven minutes, <laughs> and every year we added more and more to it, like two, three minutes every year, and then finally we ended in this 15-minute track that we can finally just put to bed. Yeah. I don't think we'll ever, we won't extend it anymore. Yeah. It's, it's reached its life cycle. <laughs> it's transformed <laughs> into another beast, you know. <laughs> it reached the afterlife. It's, yeah. He's good. It's there now. It's done. He's it's done. Golden. Do you add extra elements to your live sounds? Extra sort of riffs? And Every time, yeah. Most of the time. And new members as well. We got like uh, a new member that plays with us as well called Sarah live and stuff and she joins us for certain like festivals, shows and yeah. yeah. She's great. I feel like when you've added a live track and it's changed a little bit, you almost want to re-release another one and you're like, oh man, that sounded better with an yeah, extra. Yeah, that yeah, happens yeah. with us all the time. <laughs> we record an album, then we play a live and we're like, oh shit, we've just figured out so many things that are better. And so, in that respect, our live versions of our songs are always a tiny bit different. Live album coming soon then, is that uh, we down the We got fifth member, where are you been? Fifth oh, member, honey Sarah, hello. Hey, how you doing? So I hear you jam with the band live and add extra elements to their songs. Yeah man, I just jumped on board this year, I've been playing some percussion, getting some bass and guitar in there, it's been a hoot. Yeah man, they're so, they're, honestly these dudes they're just the loveliest guys, they're so chill to hang out with and the shows are just out of control, it's great. So uh, I do this thing on my, my guests, I ask a question to the next guest. Uh, so a question for you from my previous guest who was a comedian was what's your favourite film and why? Difficult for a whole band to answer, but uh, who's going to take it or do you have a film? You Maybe watch, all of you. Holy Mountain is a movie that's inspired us okay. a lot over the years and a lot of the ideas behind that movie have kind of seeped into some of the concepts in our songs, so oh, nice. we'll go for that, yeah. It's a handy question then. My one is Billy Madison or Happy Gilmore, I reckon, because they're just so, they're just the most classic movies, Adam Sandler at his best, and they're so quotable, like who doesn't love that movie? Yeah. The, the, the Little Mermaid for Charles' bass lines. Uh, yeah, yeah. Little, Little Mermaid, Mermaid bass lines. My bass lines and stuff. Thank you for chatting to us. Uh, what's your question for my next guest? Make it, make it hard. I'm not okay. sure who it is, but uh. you can return from the afterlife and be either an iguana or a sloth. <laughs> Which one would you be? Definitely the iguana. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for chatting to us. Good luck with the tour, you on tour? Uh, we we tour, almost yeah. forgot to plug it. We're going on tour in October in the UK. We're playing all the best places. Find us on social media. We're playing London. We're playing Brighton. We're playing... Southampton. Southampton. All the places. All the places. All over. They can find you at flamingods.com. That's right. That's where it is. Look for the flamingos just in public, public places. Hell no. Remember, we got our flamingo spies and they're everywhere. So you watch your fucking back. All over the place, right? Yeah, exactly. All over. That picture. He's a flamingo. <laughs> You're a flamingo. Right yeah. This guy. <laughs> 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 Take the last <laughs> <laughs>